The first rule of building a great app is to collect feedback as much as possible. Without it, you are basically driving with the lights off. In this quick tutorial, we'll cover the best way to collect feedback and also how to keep your app store ratings high. Aside from building a great app, there is a trick for that. It's a simple industry standard approach that actually works. So let's begin. So this is our Instagram clone project. So we assume that posting stories is the killer feature. So we want to show the feedback page or dialog right after the user creates a story. And for that, I already have this bottom sheet where we ask the user for their feedback. So what do we want to do when the user clicks on submit? First of all, we want to check if the rating is above four or below it. If it's above four, we want to send them to App Store or Google Play. And if it's below four, we want to collect their feedback. Then we need to make some changes in our projects in order to continue. First of all, we want to add a flag that we save if we have asked the user for their feedback or not. So we don't show them 10 times about our amazing app. So for that, I'm going to add a flag called feedback submitted, which is a Boolean. Then we have to create a page where we send the user to if they have a low rating. For this case, I'm just going to ask the AI to create a page for me. Hopefully it's going to be good. One nap later. Okay, that took it a long time, but it actually looks good. We can add the functionality later on. Let's continue our tutorial. So back to our feedback component. At the end, we want to update the user profile and set feedback submitted to true. And I'll move it to the top. So if our code fails for whatever reason, we can be sure that the submit flag is set. And instead, at the end, we want to dismiss the bottom sheet. Now onto the conditional. If the rating is less than four, we will navigate the user to the newly created feedback page. Now we want to trigger this amazing bottom sheet. So back to our home page. And I want to open up the story action flow. And we just need to add a very simple conditional at the end. If feedback submitted is false, we want to show the bottom sheet. And if it's not, do nothing. So that's that. By the way, we have this amazing Patreon community where we publish extra content and also publish clone links to these projects, just like this one. You can clone this project and get access to more content like how to get your first 10,000 users completely for free. Let's continue our tutorial. Now the custom part. How do we show the in-app review dialog? We have this amazing package called in-app review and I'm just going to copy the code over here and implement it in our custom actions section. So a new custom action, we'll name it show in-app review and just paste the code over here. And we also have to add the package in our pop spec dependencies. The package has some precautions. They say it will only work if you have your app pretty much ready on Google Play or App Store. And also a weird thing is that the in-app review dialog will not show up in our test flight version, but it will work on the simulator. Interesting. With that out of our way, let's actually use this custom action. So I'll just come back to our feedback component and call this custom action and submit if the rating is greater than four. And again, just to be extra safe, I want to wrap the entire thing in a try catch block so it doesn't break the app if something goes wrong. And don't forget to add this is web conditional if you are planning to publish your app to web because it will definitely not work on web. Now let's create a test session and test out our app. We shouldn't get lazy over here. Soon after. Okay, the run failed because I forgot to put either to a string and the app wasn't building. That's why we test. All right, this time let's create a local run and run it on our Android simulator. Okay, we're gonna upload this story and wait for it to upload. Oh, nice. We have our amazing feedback dialogue. Perfect, I love it. Thank you for watching the video to the end. I hope I see you all in the next one.